So, hey everybody, welcome back. In my rush to close up the shop last night because of the high winds and possibility of storms, I left my zinc in the solution, in the acid. Barely anything left now, man. But you know, that puppy is filled up with zinc now. For now, it's got to settle. Probably need to filter, filter it through a coffee filter. So, we're not doing any more. I, I re-zinked and re-chromed the, um, the Porsche 911. Yeah, P911, sorry. Um, because I sanded it with 1500 and then 2000. And then, it's not this car, but the roof with the pits looks a lot better now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I got to clean this up. Stand by. Hi, this is James from Home Security. Who the hell is this? I don't care who it is. They can leave a message. Oh, I hope that's not um, Chris Hood. Oh, anyways. So now this is going to have to sit and settle and then filter out yet. You can leave it in for a couple hours, not overnight. Holy crap, there's nothing left. You know, it used to be a bar like this. This is nickel, though. All right, I got to clean all this up. I got a surprise for you today. I got decals in another car. Oh, I got to show you my new cars. Be right back. So I got, I got some uh, new toys today. Where did I put them? Oh. I got, oh, let me stretch. I got this box over here. I, I got decals. Holy crap. Hey, I'm really liking these decals. You know, damn, we got lights in the way. Why can't this be easier? You know, I did that one from Second Chance Red Lines scredlines.com and um and I got the new what do you call it not the canopy uh, the windshield I gotta screw this together and that don't look right but anyways I love the decal all right we get rid of him now you know I already got the new paints so I still got one of them it we're, hang on. Now I got two of these. Now, I. Alright, so. This is for the Porsche 911. Uh, excuse me, P911. Damn it, sorry. Not this one. I mean, look at this puppy. I got fingerprints on it and stuff, but that came out almost mirrored. There are no pits anymore. So, that's for the uh, electric chrome. I'll let you know in a minute on that. We'll get back to that. Um, where the hell... Oh, 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 oh. All right, all right, all right. Let me get these out of this box. I think the mystery of this guy is finally solved, which is this guy right here. Thanks to my buddy. Where's my other Corvette? Oh. Wait a minute, I got, I got two of these. And, and I got this one today. 
this is not an original because you got the divots you know right there right there all right that's not original right there it is so I got two of these look that bounces oh, damn it now this guy dead and I can't do this guy because uh, I know those wheels are AFU they're Tango uniform buddy yep <clears throat> alright but yeah, this guy, yeah, it's a replica. But the paint job's really nice. So these decals are for a black P911, which when this gets back from uh, RSI, he's getting put in the goop and going to be painted black. And we're going to use this. Or, or like I said, the dark, dark green. Okay, but look, here. All right, so we're finished with this guy. And by the way, I got two 58 Corvette coupes on the way. I think one was $3, one was $1.89. So I doubt they're anything original, but if they look the same, they'll go in this box here. That'll just be a, a loose car. But here, check this out. SC Red Lines dot com I got all decals in this one a, I don't know if you can see this is yellow yeah yellow flames I don't, I don't I don't know why I got them I don't know where I'm gonna put them maybe maybe not so I, I just got one of those to play with it but these, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. I got two of these. This candy apple red came out a little dark. There might be a waste on here. A white would be better. I don't think they had any. So, but I got these guys also. These are also 1980s. If I make the red a little lighter... I got two. So I got two of those. All right now, we got this guy. Only got one of these. Ooh, got flames. We got fire! I made fire! Uh, okay, I'm back now. I went away for a little while, but I'm back now. <laughs> where, where am I at? <laughs> Me, make fire! Oh! So, this is 75, it's original, you know why, I'm painting a butt to drill into to get this off, but I know how to do it, I got a special tool, oh, oh, oh I got a Benford 5000, yeah, 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 so I got one of those, but I got these flames, <laughs> fire I made fire I got more flames I have no idea what vehicles to put these on I'm just gonna have fun with it I got these with the skull flames why is everything upside down skull flames oh you know I got I got those body art tattoos also dragons and um, I got like six of them. They're still uh, in the original package. I just hate to use them because they only last for like a week. And I really don't like tattoos. I have no tattoos on my body. Oh, assorted Corvette emblems. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. They're so small. They looked a lot bigger online. i tell you that. Here's a, a Porsche 917 the Golf 20, I don't know why I bought that. We got a lot of number 20s, so I call my cars 20s. Here's the uh, Dragon Tooth. That looks like uh, 
Flaming James, he's going to go down in flames. And he actually did, you know, the shark tooth. That was on uh, the, oh crap, there it goes. That was on the Amigos. Uh, that's the guy that had a piece of hair, I mean, so small from the epoxy when I glued the axles back in. I never even saw it, but it was like to tunk to tunk to tunk to tunk all the way down the damn track. I got the car back. It's got these. It's, I think it's a Nova, but it's got these guys. So I want to try that again. This guy now, like I said, I polished them up. And it said super chrome or extra chrome or I said hey this is zinc and nickel I'm gonna polish it up again I mean just with Windex or something not really on a polisher but this is supposed to go and there's actually I guess there's actually a car that's Porsche P911 with chrome Not really liking the colors, but to try to make it original. All right, that's my colors. Now, this guy is really nice. I gotta try to find decals for this F40. Like I said, I might just clean it up. Put it in the car case. Now this is the guy going in. Now, on this guy, the black or the red. Now, this is my question out there to you guys. Hey, you want the black or red? I mean, but I got, where's those yellow? I got these. If I put the yellow on the front, I don't think it'll show up. Black would, the yellow wouldn't. Black would show up nice, yeah, but uh, this top one here, this this top one here, is curved to go around the wheel well. Oh yeah, yeah, that would look nice. Where's the where's the yellow ones for the hood? I know they're here. Yeah, these. Yep. Yeah, no. But you know what would look good? If I use these with the black outline and then put the black on there. So these guys together. Yeah. I don't know how you do this. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Yep. And like I said, if I screw it up, I got two of them. Now it looks extra wide, but that's because these are flared up. And you experts out there know about that. I don't. Alright, so you know about the paint, you know about the decals. Now that looks like deer antlers. This is going to be fun. And I got all my paints. I still want one of these in uh, the uh, ruby red. And I might pick up another one for like $4. Um, grape candy blue. What? Hang on. Yeah, I got these candy colors. This is the blue grape, base pearls, pearls, pearl eye, per, whatever, blue grape. Maybe the yellow, would yellow and blue work? I think yellow and black would work. But damn, I really want to use this. I really want to use that. Dang it. So much paint, so little time. 
I think I'm just gonna have to sit down and watch Uncle Buck again because I just saw that like last weekend and um, I actually hit it. damn it I did it again I actually hit it up from the very very beginning so I saw a few things that I didn't see before Oh, Bill you gotta stop doing this crap Now, they never put decal to decal. That's bad. Steel brush, bad. Brass brush, brush good. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. But, yep, yeah, kind of happy. I got one, two more cars coming, actually. Like I said, two more 58 Corvette coupes with the engine exposed. So, yeah. Yeah, I am tempted to do another one, but I think I'll just leave it alone. You got to do, see I tried to do the nickel again, what happened? I got black stripes, but in different directions. So, getting that time of year again for Skeeters. But, um, I think if I buff it up and not touch it. Get the uh, de decals on there. Yeah. 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 Oh, I was going to do a bit video about buffing. Maybe be a separate one. Because I have everything right here almost that I've used. Yeah, I call this the cotton ball. Got this one, this one, this one. No, where's where's the white one? Anyways, you got, you guys, there's there's one just like this with the uh, layers. God damn light in my way. It's got layers, but it's white and it's softer. Let me check that out. Now, for you newcomers out there, if I can help anything. I don't know a lot, okay? But if you're going to buy and get involved, buy in bulk. I think you got like 15 or 20 of these brass wheels. And they wear out really fast. It's like one per car. Maybe two cars. So then, you saw the video with the zinc, how gray and dull it looked. So that and gets it kind of shiny now this I use actual automotive rubbing compound yeah I put that shit on everything like Frank's hot sauce all right that's the rubbing compound and then I do rubbing compound on this this is harder than this one but softer than that one and that gets it down to a reasonable uh, smoothness all right so then I get my flits I got my flits oh you know what I might do here's my rubbing compound here's my flits and then what I have not done, nanochrome polish, but I need a new one. This is all AFU. Tango uniform, if you know what I mean there, you military guys. Tango uniform. It melted. I left it out here. It kind of got hot. It might still work. I mean, the nanites are still in there, like, you know, Star Trek and stuff. You got the nanites. I go to work and repair stuff. Yeah, okay, that's bullshit. <laughs> but I may, I may still try it. Let's see. Yeah, it, it, definitely not stainless steel. Yeah, that don't look right. I think all the nanites escaped. 
the nanotechnicians there, you know. All right, I'm getting into uh, Abe and Boltar again. That Canadian guy that does bought online tool reviews. Yeah, I try not to use the language he uses, though. His language is, uh, you know, I don't know why he doesn't get banned from YouTube. But I may do the cotton ball with the nanites one more time. But nothing, no more sandpaper, just the chrome polish. I may buy brand new chrome polish. But that's what I use. Then I use the flits with this guy. Well, no, I do it all over again. I use flits with this guy. Lightly. Flits with this guy. Flits with this guy. And then finally flits with the cotton ball. And it comes up pretty damn good. Yeah. Now there's a couple more 1980 vets out there. This guy, I'm just going to put decals on. But they're wanting like $8. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. $8 for a beat up, beat up you know, piece of crap. But actually, these axles are pretty good. Now, which one's original? That one's hard to tell. But it's a ball. Not a, not a divot. It's a round ball, but it's got paint on it. It says 1980. So does this one. It's got paint on it, but it's a ball. And smaller than this guy. I mean, this guy got that. That's going to be a pain in the. Now, you know, you want to use a center punch. Like I was told by Sean and a couple of other guys. But then, how you know, you're not going to ding up the other side. So, I've, I've got a Dremel tool. Uh, uh, sorry, Binford 5000. Oh, oh, oh. I used a little teeny round ball. It's the same size as. Where the hell is it? about the same size as that and I get a crater down there and the drill bit goes right to the middle all by itself I don't have to center punch it I don't have to hurt the car make any dents or anything I'll show you all right we're gonna push all this stuff back a little bit we're gonna be gentle gotta be gentle I got my big kit in here now it's one of these but this is the one I know because it's loose this loose it's loose the roof is on fire that's about the same size as those divots let me show you so there's that rivet about the same size so I'm going to add a little angle, a little angle. You don't want to go on straight because when you do that and this is spinning, this very center is really not spinning at all. I learned that on this old Tony and in, um, Inheritance machining. The center doesn't really spin at all. Because it's at zero. So that's why I try to come in from the outside. High speed. If I go low speed, it, it always messes me up. So I go high speed, but very lightly come in. Very lightly come in and start making that divot. And I get it down. And it goes down. And then I use the 16th drill bit to get it in there. But... I didn't do that with the Porsche, so now my, okay, you know, this has got drawers and everything, all kinds of stuff, time, time to go, oh, put this away, now something's in the way, something's always in a dang old way, oh, no, that's not that, I didn't do that with the Porsche, whoops, 
Did I say filming is my worst thing on this? Uh, uh, yeah, I did. And the Corvette. But I used some, uh, sorry. I used some Loctite on this guy because he was, it went off a little bit. It didn't work the way I was told. And this guy, yeah, this is the one. That one came out okay. This one came out over to the side. Which that's going to take some Loctite, Loctite or some epoxy. But see, the inside is still zinc. I'm not bothering polishing the inside, just the outside. Oh man, that's nice. Oh, we're going to do some nano polish, get those nanites out there and have them auto repair the damn thing. And get the decals on there without trying to touch it. And get my neoprene gloves on. Oh, shit. It almost went off. Almost committed suicide there. Yep, but that's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to try this. Hope I don't screw it up again because... Like I said, I tried that sandpaper, man. I messed it up. But it got those pits out. It got them pits out. I dare you to see one. But yeah. Yeah. Been a good day. Been a good weekend. Oh. I had to buy. More damn Hot Wheels. What the hell was wrong with me? That's the old one. Where's uh, where's my Mustang? I got a Mustang here somewhere. Ah, uh, hang on. Oh yeah, Ford Mustang Mach E fourteen hundred. Never heard of it, but it looks cool, man. I like that paint job. Don't even know what year it is. I really don't care. And then I got a bag over here. I got a bag over here. Now, you're going to laugh at this. <laughs> so, I was talking to um, Mark at the... Um, the hell, I already have that one. No, wait, that's different. All right, Chris. <laughs> Lord Vesuvius. Dang, I already got that one. But no, it's a little different. Yeah, it's a lot different. All right. I was talking to Mark at uh, Gravity Throttle Racing, you know. Oh, you can always use a Ford Escort. There's a 2000, though. RS 2000. You can always use one of those. And we're talking about, what, what are you going to do for your next races? <laughs> so... I said original rally crosses, you know, like, well, that's a little big, but it's, there's the Ford Escort a little smaller than that. So I said, you can do original, you can do fantasy. Um, I suggest the original. He did put out a post saying, oh, damn, I, oh, I was going to say I bought another Corvette. Velocita. I like the paint. So that's a fantasy car for fantasy races. I said, um, why don't you do the Mini Coopers like you said? So yeah, here's an Audi. This would be great for gravity throttle racing. Okay. Damn cracking already. It's brand new. Rally Champs, see? These are all known for uh, good weight distribution. All right out the box SOTB so we're talking about oh, I had to get Batman we're talking about the minis you know the mini Coopers I got a couple of these but this is a different paint job Pontiac GTO damn what the hell is wrong with me I don't need any more cars. Here's another. <laughs> I'm gonna show you these. I I got a red one or two red one of these. I don't know why I bought this one. I like the paint job. It reminds me of Batman. Batman. Okay. 
So if we're going to get on to the minis, I got some Coopers, I got some little mini cars. So I really went overboard and I have no idea if these are going to even make it down the track. <laughs> Look at this little third. Honda 85 Honda City Turbo 2. It was so good they made two of them. I doubt it, but. Eh, the weight's so so. But I don't think that's going to make it down gravity throttle or anything. Oh, check, check this out. <laughs> Batman. Classic TV series Batmobile. If that's not lying to me, I don't know what is. I got some classics over there on the wall. Well, in the Hot Wheels shed. We're in, we're in the workshop right now. But, yeah, look at <laughs> where Where that little guy? <laughs> this, and this guy, this guy ain't going to go anywhere. <laughs> but I bought it. I don't know why. <laughs> but it looks goofy. I wonder. And the wheels are way too small. Now, if any of these three have a chance, it'd be this guy. So, yeah, I, I'd love to just run it down, put some graphite on there, and run them down my track. So, this guy might have a chance. This guy's probably better. This guy ain't got no chance in hell. So, <laughs> why, why did they even make that? You're going to piss off some poor kid, you know, ages 2 to 99, or is it 3? Three to ninety-nine. So when I hit a hundred, I can't play with these anymore. But yeah, that, that. I thought that was hilarious. I just wanted to share that. All right, let's get some nanites on here and see what we can do. That's it. We'll talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed. I know it's long, but you can always go two times fast all right see you later